What's up, Pride Nation? Back at you with another one on today. I am your main man, TA of Noble Sports Entertainment. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do so. Also, want to give a shout out to Detroit Sports Alliance. Every single member that's in the Detroit Sports Alliance want to give that shout out to them on today. But without further ado, we want to get into this video, and I entitled this video Shutting the Naysayers Up. So basically, guys, we want to shut the na naysayers up this season. There's a lot of speculations um, about our team that uh, people from the outside are looking in and saying, hey, you know, the Detroit Lions didn't draft well. They didn't do good in the free agency. But that's the reason why the Detroit Sports Alliance is here to give you that unbiased and fair media and a positive outlook on your Detroit Lions. We want to be able to set the narrative for the Detroit Lions because we want to bring positive positive results this season we want to be able to make the playoffs we want to uh be able to have a winning season we want to see matt patricia uh doing well with the lions you know that's the biggest goal for matt patricia is just to win games to come out and win games and change the culture of the detroit lions and i know that when he got the job it's not an easy it's not an easy job to coach the detroit lions but somebody has to be up for the task to be able to change the narrative and the culture and the results of winning football games in Detroit. And uh, there's, a, you know, like I said, guys, you know, there's guys like Mike Valeni, Dirk, uh, Dave Burkett, uh, guys that have uh, written articles on the Lions. And they just don't give the Detroit Lions the uh, the narrative that they they need to see coming into the season and and putting negative uh things about the Lions in the papers or uh, uh, in videos or in commentary or whatever they're doing when they're kind of commenting on the Lions and saying that the Lions didn't do this or they, they gave them a draft grade and they gave them a D or an E. You know, you know, guys, we know this draft. We drafted. We didn't go for the big name players. We went for guys that fit the scheme and fit the system. And I know that they want to say that we didn't go out the Pro Bowl caliber players. Well, you don't know who's going to be a Pro Bowl player until they actually get out on the field and produce out on the field and is able to show you what they got. And I definitely think that J uh, Jelani Tavai is uh, one of those guys that you don't know what he's going to do. You know, the biggest thing as a Lions fan is we got to get behind our guy. He's going to be one of our linebackers and we want to see this guy excel. We want to see him be able to um, shut those uh, naysayers up that's uh, asking why did the Detroit Lions select him in the second round? He should have been a later round. Uh, he should have came in the fourth round or the fifth or uh, the sixth or the seventh round, but he came in the second round. So why would the Detroit Lions select J Jelani Tavai? So we want to be able to set the narrative straight about what, why we did what we did. We did what we did because we wanted depth on our team. If, if a player goes down, Somebody else will be able to uh, pick up the workload and continue up. You know how we like to say the next man up. That's what we're trying to do. So Detroit is in a makeover for being able to change the narrative and the culture of the Detroit. And I like what Bob Quinn has done. He has been very, 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 very aggressive in trying to get the defense to be an elite defense this season. You know, going out and getting guys like Trey Flowers, Justin Coleman, and uh, et cetera. But um, I definitely think um, that we have an opportunity, guys, to be successful this season. If these guys buy in from the OTA, uh, from the OTAs over to the preseason and over into the regular season, all this stuff spills over. I think that the Detroit Lions have what it takes to change their narrative, and they can shut the naysayers up by winning football games. That's how you shut them up by going out and performing. You know, a lot of people say, "Why did the Lions select T.J. Hawkinson at eight? You know, I know that they didn't want uh, the Lions to take Hawkinson at eight. They wanted somebody else to get T.J. Hawkinson. But no, we drafted T.J. Hawkinson because we needed him on our team for what we need and what we're trying to establish. That's the reason why we drafted T.J. Hawkinson. And I definitely think that he has an opportunity to have a successful rookie season. And we're going to shut the naysayers up this year. That's something that we're going to do. We're going to shut the naysayers up about Detroit Lions football. We're here to change um, the results of uh, times of old to uh, times of new, and we, we and we want to give you that uh, that unbiased media. And I definitely think the Detroit Lions are on their way 
for a successful season if they buy into what coach uh, Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn has done in the offseason. So, guys, you let me know in the comment section. Man, these naysayers, they something else. Hey,